Hi guys, this is Giga Squawk for 2100 News. We're live in Zurich, Switzerland, in front of SIX, which is the biggest stock exchange in Switzerland. It's also the first in the world that incorporated fully automated trading. So the, the floors don't actually contain traders anymore because they're at banks. We're here to meet the head of media department, Stephen Meyer, who's going to give us an interview and his opinion on the cryptocurrencies and as well on stocks. So stay tuned for some interesting stuff. I'm here with Stefan from the SIX. Uh, he's from the PR department and um, I would ask you if you can tell us a little bit about your work. Yes, um, I'm um, doing media relations for SIX. SIX is uh, the, the company which delivers the financial market infrastructure of, of Switzerland. SIX was founded 10 years ago um, after a merger of uh, payment services uh, and financial information, the exchange and the post trading. So uh, the idea was to, to bring the, the whole financial markets infrastructure under one roof and to, to build and, and to, to realize synergies and to um, bring the Swiss financial market in, in the next phase. So this is actually more than just an exchange? Yes, definitely. Uh, we, we are a di diversified company, uh, which is um, very strong in, in, in the market position because um, there is only one exchange, of course. Uh, there is only one post-trading organization uh, based in Switzerland. And uh, in financial information, uh, we, we are doing a lot with reference data and uh, regulatory data, uh, which then help banks to, to be compliant with regulation. And uh, last but not least, uh, the payment services uh, division is also very important here in Switzerland. Uh, it has a very strong market position. Yeah, so um, as, as, um, as I know, this is the principal exchange for the uh, for the whole for the whole Switzerland, as you said, it was, it's only one, right? Mm -hmm. um, could you tell us a little bit about the SMI, the Swiss Market Index? Mm -hmm. The SMI consists of 20 uh, titles, 20 shares, 20 companies, um, and uh, we have there uh, a lot of famous uh, companies, uh, world famous companies such as UBS, Nestle, Credit Suisse, Roche, and so on. And uh, uh, we, we are proud of, of having them here because uh, they represent uh, the Swiss economy and um, make the, the, the Swiss uh, marketplace, the exchange, also to, uh, uh, to an attractive uh, exchange to invest in. And also you are the first exchange in the world that incorporated fully automated trading. Yes, that's, that's true and we are proud of that. Uh, it, we are the, the first exchange which um, did uh, the, the whole integration of the value chain from, from, from trading to clearing and uh, settlement of, of, of trades. And um, so you, you don't see here any traders uh, because they, they are sitting uh, at their desks in, in, in their banks because there is no uh, a la crie trading, uh, floor trading, it's, it's completely electronic. So before that there was the floor of traders and now with the fully automated trading the traders can be at their desks at the banks. Yes, yes, and we have, uh, they have their pipes uh, and enter their um, trades, their orders uh, in, in the system uh, from, from elsewhere. What, what, were, what, were, what were all the benefits from um, incorporating this fully automated trading? Well, in, in ancient times, uh, I would say, um, there was um, the, the, the shares were, were traded uh, once or twice a day. And so, uh, after introducing the electronic trading, uh, traders could uh, trade each share over the, the whole uh, day um, and, and so it, it, it made it for, for, for traders much more easier to mitigate risks 
uh, to well to realize chances uh, which uh, were in, in, in the market and um, yeah that, that helped us and, and uh, the financial market in Switzerland a lot. So actually the volume of the trades went up as well then it was um, more trades more frequently. Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, a lot more of trades and uh, of course then also a lot more of, of volume. Yeah, so we could say that um, automated trading took out a lot of risks and bring in more, more profit and more safe um, uh, investments for the investors, right? Yeah, I, I would differentiate between automated trading and electronic trading. Um, electronic trading is when, when, when a, a trader is sitting at his desk and, and uh, put in uh, his, his orders. Okay. And yes, this, this of course uh, created a lot of, of chances and opportunities, made trading also safer and, um, well, um, uh, it was also the, the exchange was was or is since then uh, more approachable for for other banks or other participants because they don't have to be um, physically, physically uh, standing on the floor. Okay, so just uh, so for the finish, what are the future goals of this exchange? How do you see what's the vision for for six? Well, um, the exchange is and wants to be uh, uh, an important um, exchange in, in Europe. It's um, based on, on uh, market capitalization, one of the largest uh, in Europe. And um, we as an exchange want to be attractive for, for investors, but also for companies to, to raise capital here. Uh, because um, it's, it's the single marketplace where, where everybody comes uh, together and um, has the chance to, well, to uh, bring ideas to life. If, if you as, as, a, as, as a company have ideas uh, to, which you want to realize, then often you need yeah. money. Uh, and uh, the exchange, and especially our exchange, is very attractive for investors who want to uh, found, um, uh, fund um, um, projects, yes. So the way you compete with other exchanges is with the market capitalization then? Is that the most important factor? Well, that, that makes us uh, attractive, of course, but uh, we also are, are trying to, to, to be very close to, to our clients, to, to the trading participants, to um, organize the best and optimal uh, surrounding for, for, for trading. Okay, so um, what is if, if you have an investor that comes to your bank, if you, what are there like um, packages that you offer to him? Are there, is there a fixed percentage um, per um, the volume of his investment or is there maybe more risk investments or? Well, we, that, that's um, um, up to the, to the investors. We, we have only contact to the trading participants, which are banks. Uh, and banks, they, they deal with uh, their clients, uh, with the end investor, and what they invest in, uh, it's, it's up to them, and uh, we, we can't uh, um, yeah, influence them uh, in, in that way. Yeah, because with the with the rates that um, that banks give you per your investments, um, uh, what is like the yearly rate if if we would make a deposit, let's say, of uh, one million francs? What's <laughs> well, that's that depends on on on, on each single bank. Uh, we um, are not in that business. Uh, we we are just. Um, in, in, in the business B2B business, we and, and the banks, and then the banks, how they organize uh, their business uh -huh. and how they uh, charge their clients for, for their uh, deposit, it's, it's um, up to them. So it actually depends on the banks because with the, with the growth in the, in the stock exchange and stocks and bonds, um, 
obviously there is a lot of a lot of uh, participation and a lot of questions around the crypto market as well because their growth there is um, much bigger in percentages but uh, most people probably don't um, maybe don't understand uh, why financial and stock business is more safe than the crypto market well um, of course uh, an exchange organized as we are and most of, of the other exchanges in, in Europe and, and all over the world they um, have uh, means uh, to um, to guarantee that uh, investors are treated fairly yeah. and equal and uh, that's one of, of our um, main main goals to to guarantee uh, an orderly and fair market and um, yeah that's that's uh, the business we do the, uh, daily thank you very much for your time Stefan. i wish you much success with six Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>